Hey everyone, I'm Anari Morgan. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I get this head wrap, this large head wrap look with my teeny weeny afro. As you guys know, I'm on this journey. I cut my hair back in January, late January, early February of 2024. I don't know why I'm button on the date now i'll put the date on the screen and since then i'm on the journey of growing back my natural hair after wearing a bob for a year and i found out that even though my hair is that short i can still be rocking these head wraps which is just a vibe and style that i love so much so i'm just on here to show you guys how you can also be versatile with your teeny weeny afro and not just wear it as its puff itself Without me blabbing anymore, let's get into how I achieved this look. I think I'm very brave coming on the internet with my head looking like this. The tools I'll use for this, I'm going to reuse this bonnet underneath. I'm going to use another cloth. This is also another one of the wraps, the black color that I have. I'm going to use it inside this bonnet to have that effect of hair on top. This is a head wrap I'm wearing today. I actually ordered a pack of four for, I'll put the price on the screen. I ordered it on Amazon. I'm using Shine and Jam as my gel. I have my water spray bottle. And in this, I have rosemary water that I made the other day. This is my hair brush. And this is the brush for my edges. And I'll be using these hair ties to help with keeping the hair on top. All right, so let's get into it. So the first thing I'll do I'm going to just wet the perimeter on my hair. I'm not really going to do it too intense. The mirror is right there, so I might look in the mirror to see what I'm doing. You can actually see that I already did pull the hair back from the day before, from yesterday. So it's already in a pullback state. So I'm just going to apply a little more gel and just rebrush it. So just a little bit of gel, nothing too crazy, right? And then I brush it. I'll use a mirror for this so I can see better. So I'm not using a pick. I'm not picking the middle up or anything. So now I'm gonna put my bonnet on. I'm gonna put this inside of the bonnet. So, so if you don't have a bonnet, if you have something with a band like this, I think it could work. This is just how I do it, but I feel like, of course, there are many other ways to figure out if you don't have this exact type of bonnet. I had this bonnet from when I actually had a lot of hair to put in it. <laughs> so, this bonnet has seen my hair in its long natural state, in its perm state, and now when I have my teeny weeny afro. Alright, so I have it around my hairline. I'm going to leave it here for a while before I kind of gently push it back so it shows some of the hair that I brushed back, right? But now, I'm focused on getting this bun effect that I want on top. And for it, this is where the scrunchies come in. I'm going to use just a hair tie and tie it on top. Just like so, see? This is why men will say, or oh, women are deceiving. But I don't feel like I'm fully deceiving because I used to wear this hairstyle when I had the actual hair to put all the top. All right, so now it's time to actually wrap the hair. So, oh, I just tuck this loose cord or string that was at the back. I just take it and wrap it around the top. Just to not have a hanging string. And the knot isn't really big at the back either. So, so now this is the cloth. As you see, it's see-through, which is also one of the reasons why I prefer a black bonnet underneath because then it really looks like hair underneath and another color isn't showing through this see-through cloth. But I do prefer the cloth being this see-through. It's easier to manipulate and not too crumpy. If it's stiff, I believe it would be harder to handle. That's my opinion. But I honestly haven't tried it with another type of material. All right, so I found the middle of the cloth. And I'm holding it like this, and I'm gonna hold my head down and put it over. See? I hope I'm doing this in a way that it can be understood. So I really just have it further than my hairline as well. I hope I'm showing what I'm doing <laughs> because I'm gonna kind of roll it up in a bit. So now I'm gonna cross 
Okay, I usually use the mirror for this, but I'm crossing, right? <laughs> and, you know, I kind of loop it here, loop the excess over the flap. And don't worry, this is lean now. You can fix it later, so. And the black bonnet is showing, but that I'm gonna like tuck it back. So I'm gonna keep cross this again. I might open it out, it depends. You, you just have to feel your way around this part, to be honest. But I cross it again, kind of open out some parts, you know, because after here, it's really just like tucking. So keep crossing, depending on the size of your bun or whatever. And see, now it's not neat yet or anything, but I'll tuck these excess pieces in. And I've seen people not tie it at all, but I'm going to tie mine because I just feel more secure when I know that um, I won't be walking and then the whole class just fall on the ground or anything. So I just feel more secure just doing a baby knot at the back, which I'll also tuck in. For those of you who don't know, I'm in my third trimester pregnancy, so I, I go out of breath like really fast. I'm going to start doing cardio again when I'm a little bit closer to birth. And I bought some tea to help induce the labor so I don't really go overdue because I'm trying to do natural birth and I don't want to be dealing with the drugs of induction and all of that. So now, the plan now is to figure out how to hide this thing. <laughs> it's a lot easier if you're wearing the black wrap because then you don't have to worry too much about hiding it because it's really concealed. Basically, just push it back a bit. I'm gonna use the mirror to push it back. I wanna see what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, see, yeah, see, I start tucking it back and then I push it back a bit so some of my hair is showing here at the side. Alright, so now the black pieces you're seeing is really my hair. The only thing is when I'm getting in my car, I need to remember dip to enter because um, I might like tilt it. But then it's just easily adjustable and everything. This is just going to be my style for now. It's so easy. Alright, so now I'm doing my edges. You can use a little bit more gel. I don't like too much gel in my hair. So I'm just gently touching the sides with the gel. And I'm not someone who does my hairline too much either. So let me just work on this real quick. But this is the look. I mean, let me know what you think. I got this effect that I want. And I feel like it doesn't wobble so much because I put the extra cloth inside the bonnet that I'm wearing, which is already like secure tied around my hairline so it doesn't feel like it's falling off I wear this the entire day you know the look that this gives it gives the look as if I eat healthy <laughs> maybe because it has that either Rastafarian or not really Rastafarian enough, but you get my point it looks like I'm health conscious it looks like I work out it looks like I drink plenty of water <laughs> if I'm wearing shades and everything mm. I don't know, I just really like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, all right, so before I get to chatting too much, cause that, that's just it with me. When I'm editing, I have so many things to cut up because I just start rambling about so many topics. So check out all my previous videos. I mean, none of my videos are like time stamped in a way where I'm talking about a topic that's no longer relevant. I have a playlist labeled all. You can binge watch and enjoy my videos. I talk on so many different topics. I'm on this personal growth journey and the vibe of the channel is just to inspire reflection and growth. So on that, subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and 